August 19th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 94 and 95 from the Old Testament. O Lord, the God who avenges, O God who avenges, reveal your splendor. Rise up, O judge of the earth, pay back the proud. O Lord, how long will the wicked, how long will the wicked celebrate? They spew out threats and speak defiantly, all the evildoers boast. O Lord, they crush your people, they oppress the nation that belongs to you. They kill the widow and the one residing outside his native land, and they murder the fatherless. Then they say, the Lord does not see this, the God of Jacob does not take notice of it. Take notice of this, you ignorant people, you fools, when will you ever understand? Does the one who makes the human ear not hear? Does the one who forms the human eye not see? Does the one who disciplines the nation not punish? He is the one who imparts knowledge to human beings. The Lord knows that people's thoughts are morally bankrupt. How blessed is the one whom you instruct, O Lord, the one whom you teach from your law in order to protect him from times of trouble until the wicked are destroyed. Certainly the Lord does not forsake his people. He does not abandon the nation that belongs to him. For justice will prevail, and all the morally upright will be vindicated. Who will rise up to defend me against the wicked? Who will stand up for me against the evildoers? If the Lord had not helped me, I would have laid down in the silence of death. If I say my foot is slipping, your loyal love, O Lord, supports me. When worries threaten to overwhelm me, your soothing touch makes me happy. Cruel rulers are not your allies, those who make oppressive laws. They conspire against the blameless and condemn to death the innocent. But the Lord will protect me, and my God will shelter me. He will pay them back for their sin. He will destroy them because of their evil. The Lord our God will destroy them. Come, let's sing for joy to the Lord. Let's shout out praises to our protector who delivers us. Let's enter his presence with thanksgiving. Let's shout out to him in celebration. For the Lord is a great God, a great king who is superior to all gods. The depths of the earth are in his hand and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his for he made it. His hands form the dry land. Come, let's bow down and worship. Let's kneel before the Lord, our creator. For he is our God. We are the people of his pasture, the sheep he owns. Today, if only you would obey him. He says, do not be stubborn like they were at Meribah, like they were that day at Massa in the wilderness, where your ancestors challenged my authority and tried my patience, even though they had seen my work. For 40 years, I was continually disgusted with that generation. And I said, these people desire to go astray. They do not obey my commands. So I made a vow in my anger. They will never enter into the resting place I had set aside for them. God, thank you for being a God who the depths of the earth are in your hands and the mountain peaks belong to you. The sea is yours because you made it and your hands form the dry land. God, I do worship you. I bow down and I thank you so much for all the amazing things you've given me. I am astounded each day that I wake up alive, mostly because it means that you still have things for me to do. And the fact that I get to work in your kingdom here on earth is really crazy awesome. My desire is to go home. <laughs> If I had a pick, but I am incredibly honored and blessed that you have me here still uh, to, to do whatever it is that you have me to do here on earth. God, today I just pray that you search my heart, that anything and everything in there that is wrong and worldly and won't help your cause here on earth, Please just remove it from my heart. And I, I know that this prayer will be painful as those things get removed from my life. But that's exactly what I want. I don't want to take up my life fussing about things I'm struggling with. I just honestly just want to get on with the learning process so that I can go and do things for you. Now I do realize that 
the rejoicing part in the struggling process is because that's building up testimonies where I get an opportunity to talk to other people. And for that, I'm, I'm very thankful. But for anything in my heart that's just selfish and just things I'm sitting on and, and holding on to when I shouldn't be, God, just help me to let go of those. If you were uh, my God who is sovereign and so big and has made all not only this earth but multiple universes that we don't even know about then i know you can hold my hand as i struggle and go through whatever it is that i need to learn to do so that i can reflect your glory while i'm here on earth i look very much very much forward to the day when i get to glorify you in heaven but allow me to be the person you created me to be. Allow my heart to shed all of the worldly things it has so that I am truly the person that you originally created me to be. Not what the world created, but what you created. I truly thank you for your patience. I thank you for your strength as I go through some of these struggles. And I thank you very much for the lessons that become part of my testimony so that they go on to help other people who you have placed in my path so that I can talk to them about you. God, I do worship you and I thank you so much <laughs> for your willingness and patience to work with me as I figure out what a new heart looks like. In your son's name I pray, amen. <laughs>